And I really wish I had, hadn't given it up because it meant so much to me. I loved the racing. I loved the training. It was right in the middle of, I did O levels. You, did you do O levels? Not even GCSEs. So right in the middle of sort of exam season, I was having a hard time at home. And the one thing that was kind of getting me through was the swimming. But I just made this, literally, it was a day-to-day decision. I looked in the mirror, saw these musty, musty shoulders, thought it made me look too masculine and gave it up because I knew it was the swimming from one day to the next. And what a, what a terrible, sad thing to do because, you know, I was, as I said, I was going through sort of difficult, you know, teenage years are difficult anyway, but diff- particularly difficult time at that time. And that's when I gave up and I wish I, somebody had just you know sat me down and go, Louise, look, never mind about the shoulders. This is doing extraordinary things for you and you need to keep going. And do you think attitudes are changing now? So you've got daughters. Do you think attitudes to body image and muscularity and so on are changing? I think that's a difficult one, isn't it? Because we talk about, lots of people talk to me about how difficult it is for teenagers now. And and, and I accept, and it is, believe me, of course it is, with all that sort of Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, beautiful bodies coming at you from left, right and centre. But, you know, look at what I did. So, you know, I was under similar pressure that many years ago. So has it changed? I mean, I hope it's changing. And I hope, you know, all I'm trying to do with my daughters and we can talk, you know, my one of them, as you know, has just done the London Marathon with me, which is amazing, age 21. I'm just trying to make do sport because they can see that it's a really makes a massive difference to my physical and mental health. And it's part of, it's part of my character. It's part of what I do. And that's what I want it to be for them. I want it to be a solace and their happy place that they can go to when times are tough. And if we could get that message across that it's not, you know, I don't do this to look good. I do it to feel good. 